Hmm. My, my. Who would have imagined even more marvelous mysteries still lurked within the old schoolhouse? What a delight. Why, I can hardly stop myself from heading in there to take a little peek. Uh, that might not be the best idea right now. There's no telling what could happen in there. Yeah, I'm gonna suggest you take a hard pass on that. <laughs> oh, come now, I was only kidding. I wouldn't dream of rushing in to steal the thrill of discovery for myself. But, all joking aside, I take it you've finished reading those deciphered passages from the black records I gave you, Reen. Huh? Hmm? Decipher? Well, sure, I looked through them, but why do you ask? And what's Rosine doing here anyway? Well... <laughs> questions, questions, so many questions. Please, allow me to elucidate. What's going on? This is just like when I called out to Valimar that first time. To put it simply, I've created a partition of sorts. The three of us standing here within are the only ones who can even sense it. Meanwhile, those outside remain blissfully unaware of its existence. I'll admit, for a moment there, I was worried that Emma and Selene might have noticed something amiss, but it seems I've still got the touch. Just who the hell are you? And you too, Rosine. Why are you wearing your habit all of a sudden? <laughs> Starting off with the basics, I see. Perfectly fine by me. Who the hell am I indeed? My formal ties are to the Septian Church, as a member of the Gralsritter. Second among the Dominion, in fact. I stand at the right hand of our leader, and am known by some as the Partitioner. But you already know my real name, of course. I've never hidden that from you. I am and shall always be Thomas Lysander. I'm a squire, tasked with supporting him in the execution of his duties. You could say I'm an apprentice knight of the Grouseritter. What? Hold on. What? The Grouseritter? Do they have something to do with the Congregation for the Sacraments Scarlet was talking about? That they do, Reem. We're a secret sect of the Congregation, an unseen face. Our organization's existence isn't known to the wider world, nor should it be. Our primary purpose is to gather and seal away dangerous artifacts. But every once in a blue moon, it becomes necessary to undertake covert operations like this one. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. To be honest, I felt like there was something off about you for a while now. You were able to decipher the black records for one. Your knowledge and abilities go way beyond the average instructors. But even still, I never would have guessed you were connected to something this large scale. And with all that in mind, what do you want with me? Why tell me all of this now? Have you finally decided to step out from the shadows and interfere? Mmm, that's not quite it. Perish the thought, Reed. What happens in the old schoolhouse is out of our jurisdiction always has been. The way things stand brings to mind a few parallels with Liberal's Phantasma Trouble, but I doubt this is nearly as dangerous. After we're done here, I'll be glad to let you tackle that on your own. Me, I'm only here for a little talk with you. After all, you are an Awakener, possessor of a fragment of the Great Power. And that means we have matters to discuss. This should come as no surprise, but the trouble facing this land is far from over. No. But this piece is merely a simple respite. The most crucial moment stands silent in the wings, waiting to unfurl before us. The Chancellor never stops spinning his webs, and while he may have repelled Ouroboros for now, they will be back. Mark my words. And there's not a doubt in my mind that you'll have an important role to play in what's to come. 
That's why I thought it would be worthwhile to make a formal introduction and ask for your cooperation. So, what say you? Sir, if I may, you might want to ease him into this a little more gently. It's quite a lot to take in at once. Reen, I want you to know we're not here to scare you or to make an enemy of you. We don't mean to pressure you into a response, either. For now, our intent is just to remain here and keep an eye on things. So if there's ever anything you need our help with, we're here for you. Just ask and we'll do whatever we can. Thanks, Rosine. You're right, too. This is a lot to take in at once. I'm not really sure how to respond. I guess at the very least, I can tell you're not my enemies. But by the same token, that doesn't necessarily make you my allies, either. So, no promises. <laughs> <laughs> I understand completely, Rain. And, for the time being, that's perfectly fine. But to return to an earlier topic, those black records you found are actually of particular interest as historical artifacts. As far as I can tell, their purpose was to record the true history of the Divine Knights. Given that recovering artifacts like those is our job, Avalon, if you happen to find any more, do pass them along to us, would you? I'll give you transcripts of everything I can decipher, of course. Given what you've read so far, I'm sure you must be curious. I'll give it some thought. Huh? Huh? What the... What just happened? Huh? Hmm... Well... Do take care, everyone! I'll be praying for you! Of course you will. Are you really sure that was for the best? I'm afraid you might have made him even more wary of us. <laughs> oh, that was exactly my intent. I need him to start acting with a little greater awareness of his place in a world that's more precarious than he takes it for. That is, if we intend to unravel the mysteries of the two Septarians that once graced this hollowed land. And beyond that, the secrets of the system fashioned by the witches and gnomes. The Seven Divine Knights. Osborne being dead set on locking down our activity certainly doesn't help matters either. The Roaring Lion should be able to take care of Western Erebonia on his own. But there's certainly no harm in working to strengthen our foothold on this side of the Empire as well. Our work will not be easy, Rosine. Be mindful of that. Yes, sir. Well, if you'll excuse me, the children are waiting. <laughs> 